Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Reanimators Necroids with the Limb Update. I'm your host, Colorsfade, and it's episode 10. It's the year 2299. Something's about to be voted on here in the Senate, and it is the Guardian's Angel Act. Diplomatic weight from fleet power goes in the pooper. So far, nobody's voting against that. We, want it. we don't really want that to pass, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. What we're trying to do here is get out of this purgatory. Naval capacity is not very well. Um, join these guys all together. Where are they at? Get over here. We got a science ship up here that says, I don't have any orders. What would you like me to do? And I say, I would like you to excavate this site, my friend. A construction ship over here that says, What do you want me to do? And I say, I want you to build that. We got closed borders from the Zemmerpunk Chronicles. Are they angry with us? We don't want them to be. Nope, they're just plus 35 in there. Okay. Big thing is to stay on the Molinac Ravagers. We're trying to get the, as much information as we can about them. And we're trying to get to the point where we can do something about them. So, this world doesn't have a stronghold. And it's got a, a job availability. So, city district here, same thing. We're just going to keep plopping them down. Uh, strongholds. Stronghold. Stronghold. So all of the Ketlings can do that work. This one has a stronghold on it. So it's down. What's it got for features? Sinkholes. Move us in the right direction. So what do you got? Archaeological site. Done. The echoes inside. Single artificial structure. It appears to be an old abandoned science outpost of alien design. And it stands alone in a desert of dust and ash. So speculatively translated research logs speak of a biological terror weapon. Ooh, that's not, that's not good. We don't, still don't have any relics, which is kind of amazing. Don't have any relics. Just... Just don't have them. So. Mac has some people. Oh, what do you got for features? You still don't know how to get rid of that block. <laughs> and on Helium Prime. Gather information mission is accomplished. So what do we know about them? We're at 55, we still don't have a lot of intel on hardly anything. So keep trying to figure it out, boys. Resolution has failed, good, because I forgot about it there. And okay, so we necrophaged. Three pops on Mac, three pops on Helion. Which means that um, we didn't necrophage any pops here. Yay, we will the study it. Enigmatic guest. Finish that research in eight months. So we didn't necrophage. We did some on Mac and we did some on Helium Prime, but we didn't do any here where we had the chamber of elevation there. So is it on a different timer? Hmm. Because I wanted to see what would happen. Or maybe it can't neck. So maybe the game is really smart, actually, for like the first time ever. And it won't necrophage people because it's a tomb world. And the habitability for my people is low. Although now it's saying 85%. Because... Okay, so let's find out. Let's find out the hard way. Let's move somebody to Crumbling Burrow. Let's res resettle somebody to Crumbling Burrow. 
what's it say about a necrosis who's working as a clerk? It says it's 5%. Habitability on target planet is 5%. So what happens if we actually do it? What happens if we move that person? Crumbling Burrow. So we got a leader. Got a ruler. It's an admin, and he's got a habitability of 5%. So does he die? His happiness is 82%. But since his habitability is 5%, does he just croak after a little while? I want to keep an eye on that. His happiness is 87%. So, and we're currently spending species modification, which is almost done, finishes in four months. So this is going to be a really interesting experiment here. I'm going to keep an eye on this guy. I want to see what his habitability is when this, when the research finishes. And we are at 184, 170 out of fleet power. What are we losing? Yeah. Okay, so there they are. Come up to the lab. Species modified. What is he now? 5%. Is that... Did the UI not... The UI usually does a really good job of updating, so... So now we're all this in our habitability should be better this is plus 30 percent but on the tomb world it's still saying he stinks so it didn't make that big of an impact for him he's still five percent he's 87 percent happy though that's really interesting so we could go up here to helium prime and we could say hey give them another leader down there at crumbling burrows if we have necrosis working as farmers, for crying out loud, it's like, hey, yeah. Move them over. Now, does he take that job? He does. He's an administrator. So what about Silent Colony? Silent Colony doesn't have any administrators. What if we do the same thing there? There's light over the newly established colony. And it's an administrator. Okay. <laughs> At the newly established colony, which is going to be a colony. And it's just consumer goods, baby. Okay, but the first thing's first. Stronghold. Into that. And that. And a couple more of those. And you got a bunch of features. Ice walls that we don't know how to get rid of. So. Two ban. Planetary shield generator. We need that. And you're at 20. Yeah, coming down. I just want to come down from this expense. Gather information. Superior. Fleet powers. Overwhelming. Keep gathering. You, you got to get your network. Their encryption is solid relative to our code breaking. You know, when conducting espionage, and then we experience these effects. Daily information progress minus 10%. Operation difficulty. Their code breaking is very weak. We need to get this built up. And I think what I need to do is not do gather information and let him just keep building this up for a little bit. Okay, so here on this world, which is kind of... Food central. Oh, so what do we have here? We have a chamber of elevation here and nobody elevated. They only did it on Helium Prime and Mac. They didn't do it here and we have a chamber of elevation here. So it must be on a different timer? How do I tell? That's what I want to know. How do I know when this one's going to go off? Once every 10 years, Nuka fights. Is it because we didn't have any Nuka fights? Begins to operate to... Operatives resurfaces eventually. Sure. The situation log has been amended. Clone at naval, naval capacity. Oh, I want that title block at all first. Our naval capacity just flipped, which is great. 
This world is a research An insistent former operative. Fine, ready an extraction team. I'll do it that way. Yeah, you need some research. Oh, th this doesn't have a stronghold. So it's a this has enough people to unlock that. And this takes four crystals. I need more crystals. I need a couple of planets with some space, like these. To put crystals. A study has been completed. Battleship. You busted my battleship. Mining station output. Oh, let's grab that. Now what's up here? Construction venture completed. The great A study has been completed. So these guys are at Gestalt consciousness, the ones who are down here who look really harmful. Um Disavowed operative return. Our once disavowed operative, Ethan Hunt, has returned and made it back to Necrosis Space. This is Slipanorian individual who identified himself as Muxlouch Gunwell, appears nervous and relieved, but has cleared all security verification. The debris for your name has been described as arduous, but the information has proved to be useful. We have now gained access to a valuable asset. With the matter now resolved, Mukshulch Gunwale's shaky disavowal will be renewed. Having confirmed that she is no longer missing in action, our current operatives can ensure that this time this disavowal will stick. Okay. What is this? We have evaluated Emperor Nazgratola as a candidate for joining Molinock Raveners. Sadly, we must inform you that membership requires a rudimentary brain. <laughs> oh look at you even look sad you look like sad et oh sad and angry et there gestalt consciousness so they're a ravenous hive church of endless expanse a ravenous hive so is there anything in here that harms the hives I'm not sure about that. Divinity for life, a divine purpose. The synthetic citizen rights artificial intelligence policy is banned. Nope, that'd be the opposite of it. So, crisis declaration, rules of war, galactic reform, charter of workers' rights. We certainly we want to get to greater than ourselves and there's intermediate support for it so there's intermediate support for five-year plans we just need to nominate it okay 80 and 90 and 80 and 90 so I'll tell you what we can do we can transfer ships Okay, what do we have here? Uh, 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 didn't do what I wanted to do. Transfer ships. It still didn't do what I wanted to do. That's okay. Because what I can do then is this. join forces all right what do we have here infiltration speed oh please that would be better um, so let's go back to here to these ships so I have 14 transfer what ships I'm gonna transfer one of these cruisers out and that gives you 10 which is what I want so I want to do that and that and say this so now I can look at you. Three. Gather information mission accomplished. Just let them. Okay, so now. 
crumbling burrow. It is on a different timer. We have converted three pops. Okay, so let's go look at the population here. These two guys are at 35% habitability. Well, one of them is. And the other one is at 5%. Why they're different, I'm not quite sure. Traits, savanna preference, necrophage, robust, erudite. He's an erudite, is why. This one is the old school one. So I still have an old school one there. And then what happened with the pops here? Necroids and necrosis. So I have what? Death Chroniclers. These guys are necroids and their habitability is 85%. Okay, so hold on. Look at this. And this guy, a roboticist. <laughs> it worked. Check it out. Oh my gosh, that worked. So it raised up. It elevated three Ketlings and they have 85% habitability. Because they have Tomb World Preference. It says right there, Tomb World Preference. So you guys who aren't habitable can go lead life somewhere else. Um, I will resettle you on one of the new planets like Tubin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these administrators. You, you're not, you're not going to be happy on Tubin, but you will be. Have Billy and Target Planet. Oh, because Tubin is what? It's not the right kind of planet. Let's see. This is a savanna world. Valonis. Yeah, so. I'm going to move you. Which one are you? Tomb habitability on target planet. 90%. So which one of these do I want to move? Well, they're both saying they're green on Crumbling Bro. Let's because one of them isn't this guy he's a ruler oh I wish you could tell because that's what I want to do Valonis I want to figure out which guy and it won't darn it I can hover over him and it won't say it's got to be the lower guy doesn't it Let's move him. Now who do we have? 85% and it's the 5% guy. Okay. Darn it. So Valonis now has... We're going to have to keep moving these guys back and forth. It's got... 70% and 100%. Because this guy's got two world preference. See, in the, I need to be able to see this in the resettlement screen. Crumbling Burrow. Because I assume, yeah. So he's the one who's got to go back. So we're going to Crumbling Burrow and we say, hey. We got here. 85 and a 5%. And it's not that guy. It's got to be the other guy. Valonis. Yeah. 90%. It's got to be the 90% guy. Send him. So Valonis. What do you got now? 90%. 100%. Yes. Okay. And you need to create jobs for them. They're going to have them. They're going to get planetary administration here. So I'm not upset. But that's cool. Now we know. So we go over to here the rest of these you guys are going to get your own necrophages like this you get your own uh, not dread encampment A study. chamber of elevation you get your own and you'll raise your own pops up and they'll have tomb world habitability oh my gosh that's awesome I like that that worked that's really cool so what's cool is, on these other worlds, then... Paradise Stone. A surprise catch. Amongst our many clandestine tasks in the Melanet Ravagers is the low-key scouting of potential assets. 
we acquire a new asset. Oh, that's awesome. A study has been so what's really cool is some of these other planets over here, like uh, Unur. Well, no, that is a Savannah world. There was one of these other ones that we're colonizing. That uh, some of these more recent ones. Like Tubin. Tubin is an alpine world. So what we need to do is build them their own chamber of elevation. And then they'll be able to raise up people with the alpine preference. And bingo, they get their leaders. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That's really cool. Awesome. Awesome. Possum. That is really cool. Okay, Citadel. Yep, let's get you and start getting the mega structure stuff going. You have been sitting there doing nothing for a long time because I've been neglecting you, doing a whole bunch of other things. Distressed Armada. So you're going to be the next fleet, or you'll get to join one of these others when certain numbers go back up. Okay. So why don't you... Uh, we only have 35 influence, so... I'd like to get all that research right there. That'd be nice. I'm going to go in here and just start getting all of this. And... and What is this? 1k, 1k, 1k. It's about... Just under 7k. What's our fleets look like over here? 8 and 8. Okay. And I have a guy. So... Here's what we're going to do. Not you. You guys are going to go right to here. We're going to go put you to work. Oblivion. Okay, hidden under the floors in the sacristy, the archaeologists have discovered a secret crypt where the walls are lined with rows a upon rows of tiny blue digital orbs, their circuitry glittering in the dark. Each orb contains the memory of a single confession. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and can be plugged into a cryptic looking machine at the center of the room to reveal its contents. Those who confessed their sins were blessed with oblivion. The memories of their deeds extracted by the confessional chairs and stored in the digital orbs. Let's pray for some juicy confessions. <laughs> Alright. Unlocks planetary shield generator, which we need, and artisan output, which we desperately want. Some more of. Um, naval capacity, which we need more of. Alright, so as we go up here, we say, hey, I can buy even less of those now, which is great. Yeah, now, now naval capacity is going to be our pinch, um, and we can get some more of that by going through our star bases here and looking like th this. All of these can be upgraded now, which will be nice, so we can get this is, yeah, Bastion, Defense Grid Supercomputer, Nikor Station, Upgrade Now, Katagan Station, which is just a trade hubbing thing, um, and the trade is going from Katagan over here. We don't care about anything long here. Not yet, though, but listen, when we colonize these two planets, we are going to care. So, you should upgrade already. Emden Station. Clearly, that defense computer. What do we have up here? Endless Expanse. Sin is unoriginal. The memory orbs contain countless accounts of tedious little transgressions. Infidelity. Bearing sacrilegious garb. Exposing your flappers. <laughs> Exposing your flappers. Emden Station. Okay. This one right here, this is a major choke point, so it needs to be upgraded. And the world here, Ruinous Core, is going to need a planetary shield generator. So this one is just trade. You pretty much want all these upgraded, so. Resource silos, if nothing else. But you want to upgrade them and get some uh, anchorage on them. This one is a major 
Defense Grid Supercomputer Place, and this planet over here also, while well, it's getting colonized. I hate it when your body wants to sneeze, but it's not 100% certain if it wants to do it yet. It's like, decide. This is a major bastion as well. Defense grid supercomputer and this planet here, Mescabon, gets the the magic thing right there. Planetary shield Okay. Construction venture completed. That one, what is this? This is just, uh, yeah, that's... We're doing that. Mescavon. Vizimar is trade and then trade protection, basically. And Max Station, which is going to be grabbing some... Uh, it's going to be doing some more trade protection between here and there. So let's get it a couple of hangar baits upgrade, and it can take in there the logistics office. Commercial Pact Invitation. Slepinor Mandate. We will get a bunch, and they will get a bunch, and it will cost us some more influence. Um, okay, because they're right next door to us, and I want to be friends with them because the big threat is over here. You have to be able to understand who the big threat is, and it's these bozos. And they have an L gate, and a wormhole, and another L gate, and a regular gate, and an L gate, and another gateway. Oh. There's a wormhole over here, though. Do we have a free science ship? Yes, we do. Oh, we can't get there, though? Oh, you can't get there. Oh. And you can't get here? Nope. Uh, well, okay. And you can't do experimental subspace navigation yet. Okay. Uh, no problem. In that case... What else is going on up here? Are there any more projects or anything to do? Oh, there's gonna be. Get over here. Yeah, you finished that one, so come over here. Migration treaty proposal between those two people. Yeah, I really need to hang on to this influence because I need to keep doing this expanding the great wound I might be able to go take those guys on what are they they have nothing but shields so it could be interesting go we'll crush them in a little bit okay where are our here, crystals. Crystals are the thing we're just going to need, aren't we? So let's put them down, because we're going to need a bunch more than what we have. We're at plus three, and what we need to do is look at upgrades. This, upgrade that. It'll give us one of those. Okay. What do we get here? The Endless Expanse. Illuminate. Sierra's workstation is littered with obsessive scribbles out of a place called the Ixbilin. Yeah, so set course for the Ixbilin nearby system. Alright, we'll go to the Ixbilin. And then this is an ocean world. It's a colony. It doesn't have its own sector. Where is it? It's right there. Okay. It's not part of... So Inur... Okay. We're going to wait. It's going to become part of the sector because we're going to move the capital of this sector from here to Inur. Or Unur. Uh, and it's got the ruined mega shipyard, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do is... This is... Pretty easy... To say it's consumer goods is what it needs to be. I'm going to give them... Oh yeah, and they can't put the Chamber of Elevation down until 
they get more advanced. So let's go stronghold. Let's go stronghold with them. And then some robots, and then we'll do like that. And then we'll not resettle what's their uh, decisions, not decisions, features. Oh, and it's all toxic health. Okay. All right. So here is Ixbelen. Right there. So what are you doing? Right there? Oh, so we actually have to go grab this. Okay. Move there. There's a light over at the newly established colony. Well, that's what we like to see. So colony here. It's going to be consumer goods as well here. Which is kind of a great thing. Uh, but first, let's go. They can't have a planetary shield generator until later planetary administration on the planet that sounds fair let's do a stronghold one of those one of those we'll start and it's a savannah world so we can move people to Fahariha. so if we want to do that this person's going to get a job but here we can move somebody well to Fahariha. but we'd prefer to move Construction a robot completed. Because it'll be free. It'll only cost money. Great. Where's so move the robot to Fauhariha. Vivalan. Particularly observant operative in the Rathelian corporate holdings has laid their claws in part of a Rathelian encryption key. Found an encryption key modifier added. Space storm arrives. It's going to slow everything down. Um, I've got robot harvesters over here not doing the farming jobs. And is that because do I have? Yeah, because I have people doing farming instead. You clowns. Um, habitability over there, but I don't want to pay for it. So I don't really want to move these guys. And then I won't. I wish there was a way in the game to tell it that if you have a robot farmer and a person that the robot should do the farming job. <laughs> Gene modification points. Space storm has arrived, so we'll get this worked out. Valonis. Yeah, you have a leader here that needs needs a job because we were swoop moving people back and forth um, we can resell your leader to this savannah world and this is going to cost us 50 influence to do it but I'm going to do it because when there becomes a leader job at that new place over here he'll just automatically take it so that'll be great um, in fact if we can get one more person then we can just raise that whole thing up uh, fleet power wise, you guys ready? Oh, hold on. Never mind. Okay, now. Now you want to go? Now you can go. Come in here and try to lay waste to these dudes, will you? It'd be nice. Oh, and, uh. Via Valen. You. Yeah. Make both of you home world there. Just go around the world. Kapoo, pew, pew. There's a light over at the newly established column. I love it. So, this is the Savannah world. This is also another place. Um, because we've had so little. All, all the new planets have been industrial, so I'm gonna make a food one here. Construction completed. Put some robot farmers on there. Alright. Construction venture completed. Let's go. Shadow recruits. Mm -hmm. 
This guy's taking care of business. That's good. Construction venture You need to do this because of lacking 26. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so how are we going to get over to these guys? Just a gateway, probably. There is a wormhole there. They do have a ton of planets, don't they? They're going to take a long time to conquer. Boy, raiding them, though. Can you imagine? With nihilistic acquisition, we're just going to be able to raid the heck out of them. Oh my gosh. That's going to be awesome. All right, here. You guys get your own chamber of elevation. It's on its own timer. So that's the important thing. You get your own meters out of this. You Ketlings, you. Be very nice for you. Unur. Says, what do you want us to do? Well, we're getting up against the Empire Spell, but this was going to be a research world, so. We're going to stick with the plan and research. This is part of, this is going to be a bureaucracy world because it's in a system that is set up for bureaucrats, even though I have a research person on it. So I need to take that research person and move them to like the bracket. Room. So that's, oh, but here's the, the Kelly. He's got research because he's erudite, adaptable leader, and minus crime. This person, oh, they're all erudite, so they get a little bit, and he has a bonus to research. So, the Mac one needs to go over here. Governing the Mac system. Yeah, you need to go over there to, to the Ketlings. And so that means that this one, I need to find somebody who's either, I can either use this person that I already have, who's level four, or I can get somebody with bureaucracy and we don't have one. So I'm going to swap that out. But all of these, get them all in the same system, and I should really switch this. Bureaucracy comes first, because it's the buildings, and then you deal with this. Oh, and here we go. So these can be raised up now. It's going to cost us crystals. And this one can be raised up. Those are all going to cost us crystals, but they will help against this. Oh, and you guys, chamber of elevation, and then you're going to need a few more jobs. Right now. And we can get rid of these features. Nice. Radioactive wasteland. Silent hub. Get rid of that. They're getting a chamber evaluation. It'll put one person to work. And then we can do a couple more of these. What are your features? Nothing you can get rid of there. Ruinous core features we can get rid of that. Radioactive wasteland. They got 10 jobs. So, Yay. All that stuff's starting to look better. What do you have here? Robot drillers. Okay, well. Industrial district. I can move those, a couple of those to Fauri. Resettle them to Fauri. What happens to robot drillers? We've got them all being miners, so. These are cheap, they just cost money to move. And if we go to here now, we can say, um, oh, they got six. Construction venture completed. Number of pops is greater than equal ten. I need ten pops. Okay. And are you ready to do this yet? Build Starbase, yes, thank you. Okay. Fleets, you guys did all your jobs? You did it all? Well, go home then. Good job. Got them all. You're going to go work on this research and uh, see if you can find the Cybrex homework for us. That science ship is waiting. You should move there. You're going to get to excavate that site. You're going to be able to pull this site up here in a little bit, which would be really nice. I can 
sell fewer of those, which is what I want to do. Dismal Amada, I told you guys to go home. I told the other ones to go home. But I told you all at the same time. Mescabon. Okay. What do you got going on? Has been Start unlocking slots there, boys and girls. Artisan output. That's always nice. Tachyon sensors. Start the extra edition. Yay, get that research, and now you just go excavate that site, will you? Okay, how's our bureaucracy? Where are our bureaucracy plants doing? Crystals are going to be the thing. Yeah, there's some rare ones there. You go there, Larter. Here we go. You have a person to employ, and you don't have any bureaucracy yet, so... And we're going to make you just a... Uh, let's do industrial world so you can make those faster. There we go. Actually, before you make those administrative offices, let's make sure that you have a proper amount of happiness. So, full theaters. An insult from the Kalexanan Union. You, what? Kalexanan Union? They're, t they're plus 20. They're the League of Autonomous Powers, and that also includes the Kroll. So those two federations and the, these and the Strepanor Mandate. So I don't know why you're being such a, a goober about that. Belligerent goob. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll spend some time making you happy because you guys don't need to be my enemies. This, this is who y'all need to be worried about. And now we're up here and we have an asset and his asset is subterfuge. So gather information. Launch. Let's, let's get some intel on their ships, please. Construction so we can have an idea of what we're going to be fighting. Empire Sprawl from Pops. Very, very special. Get that. That'll help immediately with that. This species was definitely not set up for faction growth of any kind. <laughs> but like the previous series, which was very, very fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Okay, star bases. This one, Vako's Curse. This is uh, it's handling trade protection. I was just gonna put like one more hangar bay and an anchorage on, because after you build the anchorage, you can build the other thing. It's all just gonna add to naval capacity a little bit by a little bit. Nikor Station, Doink, doink. and Target Uplink Computer. We'll have to start using some of our alloys soon to build all of those out. Destroyer build cost, advanced railgun, ion thrusters are almost done. Uh, this one, we said one more hangar bay, tank reach. This thing, one more hangar bay, tank reach. That is. Mushroom picking. A routine ecological study of our colony on Unur has stumbled upon a strange fungal life form. Science team reports that the surface of the mycelium is shimmering and colorful, but what was most intriguing to them was the fact that separate clusters were seemingly communicating with one another whenever something occurred within a wide radius. Furthermore, the biology of the organism appears to be clearly alien to the ecosystem of the colony. Puzzled, the local science team has requested specialized support. Take a closer look at him. Take a closer look, my friend. Yeah, no, no. Alright, let's keep going down here. 
This one, trade. So, one more hand in one of those. Zalm station, yeah, okay, down. What do we have here? Gather information, mission accomplished. All right. Espionage. It works pretty fast with that asset. Keep doing that bit of business. Let's see what we can do with that. The spores have ears. We have concerning reports come from Unor. Upon further examination, it seems that the alien fungus we found is emitting a signal towards a location in the galaxy that we were unable to pinpoint so far. Telemetry and security analysis indicate that it is completely possible for the mycelium to be some kind of advanced spying organism. However, it is worth noting that this organism is old. There's a fair chance that whomever engineered these spying mushrooms is not around anymore. But if they are, it might be best not to poke the sleeping predator. Too risky. Destroy them. Um, no, we'll take, we need to know more. We'll take the society research. That's nice. Okay, all the rest of these are building Construction stuff, completed. which is good. Okay, everybody's building stuff. Everybody's building, building, building. Look at you guys. You're so pretty. Okay. You got plenty of jobs. So none of these mouse planets, except for this one, really need anything more. Let's put some research down on this one. Someone is listening. Careful analysis of the mycelium and the signals showed that it was likely part of a network of similar organisms, possibly spanning across the galaxy as a whole and maybe beyond. Well, we do not know much. We discovered that as part of the network, this mycelium was also receiving signals from other places. We cannot be certain, but considering several factors, including the volume of data transferred, we believe that someone is actively using the network and collecting information from it. We are already working on a counterintelligence plan of disinformation, and security measures are being updated empire-wide to account for this form of spycraft. Let it begin. Let it begin. Let it begin. Move there, because we're going to have you grab that in a little bit. So the, the rats are fine on their own for a while. This can be upgraded. A study has been completed. A study has been completed. Good. Mining station output. Very nice. Mining subsidies. Cruiser hull has been completed. Engineering research. All right. All right. Oh, particle ants. Hey, because we can. Then we'll be able to build battleships. That's awesome. Because as soon as those guys. See, even if we could take them on, how do we get over there right now? And we don't have an Elgate anywhere in our empire, so it's not going to happen that way. We'll get some battleships, though. We'll make these guys strong. We'll get some battleships. We'll come down here and take care of the Great Wound. Actually, we should be able to take care of it now. It said 2K for each of those. Mm. Might be able to go do that right now. Construction venture completed. We should probably take study these. Has been completed this racket planet here. Let's take that one, Lost Encampment, and go colonize that. Empire Sprawl from Pops. Let's get the Gene Warrior Army done. The Memorex Xbelen. Is it real or is it Memorex? Gather information. What else you got for me? 73. Construction I need more. We got medium intel on their military. Mm. I need full intel on their military, and then we can figure out what the heck. Because so we got their ships right here. But they got 1.3k, 1.1, 1.0. I'm sure they got some bigger ones somewhere, like over here, right here by this gate. 2.0 and 8.7, like what we have. So there we go. So we're going to have to create some heavies. What do we have over here? This is us. Our nearest neighbors are over here. There's a there's a gateway over there. Okay. 
What are you doing? Anybody. You're assisting with research? Oh, and you can't get... You can get by here. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Go here and survey that system. No, 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 not through there, though. Not through there. Okay? Yeah, and don't go through here, either. It's going to take you a long time because of that storm, but that's okay. Expelling, who am I? A scan of the habitat's logs reveals its control system was activated again on multiple occasions decades after the life support was disabled. Someone overrode security, entering a maintenance hatch and accessed the Memorex. A data pad and a tiny blue memory orb, a smaller version of the Memorex, lie discarded by the hatch. The data pad is filled with the frenzied thoughts of someone on the brink of madness. Again and again, the same questions are repeated with growing despair. Who am I? What happened to Ix Belen? The final entry reads, Now that I know, I must forget one last time. Perhaps the orb will reveal what was forgotten. Or perhaps it won't. <laughs> well, okay. And what's going on over here? Construction venture completed. On the Senate floor is nothing, and we don't have enough power to bring anything up. So... Pan Galactic Recycling Initiatives oppose. Minor research sanctions, sure. Astral Studies Network, diplomatic rate from tech. Tianki Conservation Act, yeah, support that. Leveraged privateer. Construction venture completed. No, because it, it hampers with our. Building a better tomorrow. Diplomatic weight from economy. Habitability minus 10%. And it's, this is... A, support that one. Building a better tomorrow. What's that get us? At the end. Project Cornucopia. Oh, yeah. You can... Unlike planetary decision is Strip mine your worlds. Wow. Okay. Well, over here. Whenever a hostile operation targeting us fails, we gain 10 intel on the Spine Empire or hostile operation difficulty and cost. I want to uh, kind of like counter that. Man, those are rolling really quick now. Still don't have a lot of information though, do we? Gather. Tricky. Let me know what they're doing. Tell me. Oh, look at this. We're getting ever closer to, to not having to... I think I can cancel all selling of that. Which would be awesome. What about this world? Okay, so it doesn't have anything on it, and we know we need crystals the most. It's got gases over here, I guess, but I'm going to put uh, synthetic crystal plants down because we're just going to keep seeing we're at zero. We're going to keep needing more and more and more of them. So. That's going to be features. Dang. It seems a shame to poke one district into one of these or the other. But technically we don't need... Like here, we don't need this growth anymore, really. We'll leave that up for a little bit, but... I guess... Because we, we're not going to need those houses. We're not going to need that housing. You're 18... Should probably just build this mining one mining district for it. Let it crank out a few minerals. Alright, and the vote's up, and of course we're gonna be on there. So that'll be fine. I need one more person on larder. So I'm gonna move someone to larder. Except I'm gonna try to move a robot. Do you have any more robots? No, they're all drillers who are drilling. So I want to leave those people there. I can move a breeder. What's it going to cost me? Ten. Okay, I'll move a breeder. So a larder. Oh, what's it need? Number of pops is greater than or equal to 50? Didn't I just move somebody over there? Thought I did. Gather information. Right, hold on to that for a second. Oh yeah, at some point, and this cost two fifty to reform government. Mm. Two fifty. Let's do this, so we can start bringing a science ship down there to take care of that. 
what are you doing? Assisting research right there. Um, come down here. This guy's going to go find stuff out for us. Um, because what I want to do is I want to discover all of this. I just want to get a path. A study has been completed. And then that way I can go down there and find out what's going on with this wormhole, where it goes. Because if it goes into our enemies, that'd be a good path for us to take. Construction. Okay, buddy, you've done really well. The place to go now is over here and grab all these minerals. You're still working on that. You're at 68% have battleships but we don't have the X slot yet because we're still working and it's 24 months away okay construction venture we've been put on the council construction venture what do we have for gas is four so let's raise this up and put that person to work on the home world here it's a little different matter. Oh, this is the other thing. So on the choke point worlds, for instance, down here. On Luna's core. You want to build this other thing. The dread encampment. Army starting experience a hundred. Necromancer jobs. Necromancers turn consumer goods into research points, naval capacity, and spawn undead defense armies. We want as much of that going on here as possible. And on RMC Ruinous Core, we just... It's going to be awesome. And so we just created two leaders. <laughs> love it. Yes. yes. They have two world preference. I love it. That's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, that is just so neat. I love that. And over here on Vival, and we did some. That's nice. So here, did we, we, we sent a ship. One is going to Lost Encampment. And then here, we haven't sent anybody over here yet to colonize this. Ketlings, get to work on that way. Fallen Outpost. And, yeah, that's all. Very nice. Very nice stuff. Oh my gosh, do we not need to buy any of these anymore? Might be a miracle. That could be a miracle. Saraya's last memory orb. The orb's first memory shows Dr. Saraya spearheading the development of the Memorex to great acclaim. Another memory from years later shows her secretly wiping Memorex data for unknown reasons. Yet another memory is of Saraya working. Frantically on restoring the residents' memories, but to no avail. They stare emptily ahead, heads lolling, all but their aut autonomic brain functions lost. Finally admitting defeat, she hides the evidence of her crimes. She watches alone as the Exbellin residence is pulled into the gravity well of the gas giant. It once orbited feelers secreting large amounts of mucus in what is believed to be an alien expression of great distress. Habitability plus five. Oh, there's those tile blockers. Alright. Yay. So theoretically, I mean, this is an excellent choke point up here, but theoretically we could keep going. There may be a better choke point up here. And of course, it's not just that it would be a good choke point for us up here. If there's like a planet right here or here, then if this gets us over to our enemy, it it doesn't take much to go from here to there. So we'll see. These guys are a lot of trouble. We don't have any L gates though. That is the one of the nice benefits. No L gates. And where are the bulk of their planets? There's a bunch from here. You can see, so here's Sol. So they came in here and they took over Earth. They just crushed them. They crushed the humans. <laughs> oh, they 
continent of the world. Yeah, they just came over here and crushed them. Here's a couple of worlds here. One over there. There's a big cluster here. This is probably where they started. This is probably their home world, isn't it? So, I'm going to keep working on them. I don't think we have anything going on right now. So let's look at gathering some more information. We're at 76, but we still don't have... We have high intel on our government, diplomacy, science, economy. We need to, we need to max them out so we know everything. City district housing, yeah. We're doing pretty good. We just need, we actually need more naval capacity. We need that thing to be done so we can start building battleships. Ten months away. Cool, and we've maxed that out, which is awesome. So, let's sell a little bit of it. A system survey has concluded. A system survey. So on this world, Mescaban. Yep, so Mescaban is another place where we're going to want to build the dread encampment. And turn this into a big blocking nightmare. Cybrex Refinery, issue special project for Cybrex Refinery. Thank you. Okay, where is that? Track our map. Go to right there. Research that project. You're over here. Good. Can you get that? Space storm dissipates. Build that. We're going to get all those minerals. That blocker can finally be cleared. Naval capacity. Faction influence gain. I'd very much like that right now. Oh, and naval capacity from soldier jobs, which would really help. So that could get us anywhere. The, the Kroll alignment. Greetings. A recent Kroll archaeologist expedition on one of our planets uncovered several artifacts belonging to have originated with the original. Yes, thank you for the gift. The Cybrex were basically one away, I think. Cybrex home world system located. Great. Track on that. Um. Cybrex Alpha Track. Go to. Where is it? It's right there. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, so you're right there. Go. Survey. And then research that project. That's awesome. It's really close to us. Gather information. Yay. Breakthrough chance, difficulty, five. Skill bonus, six. From assets, four. That skill bonus will increase the likelihood of getting successful results at the end of an operation. Launch it, my friends. And we necrophaged on a couple of planets on Mac and on Helion Prime. Construction so. completed. That's awesome. Oh, a shame it left. The enigmatic cache departs. Ooh. And this is the end of it. It's villain. Final memory. Okay, the Memorex is coming with us. The Memor mod Memorex modifier. Resources from jobs plus 20%. Yeah. <laughs> The final memory shows a much older Soraya in the priest robes waking up in a state of panic, tentacles flailing and ears flapping. She stumbles out of bed and begins to frantically jot down her recollections of yet another nightmare in which empty-eyed aliens convulse on a habitat floor. Then her face contorts with horror as it dawns upon her that it's all real. The nightmares and the flashbacks are extracted memories coming back to her. And if extracted memories can return, the inhabitants of Ixbalin could have recovered. The maintenance hatch appears to have opened one last time, but Soraya's ship still remains docked at the landing. We could bring the Memorex back with us, if we wish. Yes, we do. Resources from jobs and stability. I'll take that. We still don't get any cool relics yet, though. This is a, this is a relic-free playthrough. <laughs> but we'll take that. That modifiers. Is it just for Helium Prime, or... Yes, the Memorex. Ooh, resources from jobs. Huh. If only we were a planet full of industrial districts, then. 
Uh, it, would, it would have all kinds of... Yeah, because 20% resources from jobs. Oh, I'm, I'm tempted. What if we just switch to all this over? Now we lose how much production? 174 minerals is what we lose and 242 food. Which would be a problem. We'd have to make that up elsewhere. I'd really like to move them all over to industrial districts, though. Hmm, okay. We'd have to find another planet that has some industrial districts and change it over to food instead. Not this one. A study has been completed. A study has been completed and we finished this. So a system survey has concluded. So we're still saving those for when we need them. Okay, particle a ants, great. Survey has concluded. Hyperdrive, gamma laser. Alright, let's build. Let's build the big boy. The big X slot on it. There you go, there's the first one. You're the particle ants. And you get a rail gun. A couple of you long way from getting. The Cybrex, strangely, uh, this is great. Cybrex is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Show me that Cybrex love. I just need to be able to restore mega structures. You guys stay at 80 range and shoot. And just make sure you can hit it. Will you? Battleship armor hull, because it's the particle ants and it does more damage to armor and hull. So, we gotta make sure these are all max, which they are. Brilliant. Delete that design. Gather information is done. Still gathering. Keep going. Keep getting more and more information. Faction influence gain plus one will be huge. Habitability or... Yeah, habitability can do that extra 5%. Necrophages on Tuban. Which is an alpine world, so now they're going to have leaders uh, as soon as we change it over to what it's going to be industrially. So their population, they still don't have, they don't have 10 people on here yet. Oh, we got to move, well, only, all we could really do is move some robots over here or start building robots. So why don't we do that? Let's help them build some robots. Colony. Um... I'm going to do mining here. Because I'm thinking about that world. I'm thinking about my home world with this resource bonus. 20% resource from jobs. I mean, yeah, it, it's affecting these, right? But it would be much neater to affect consumer goods and alloys for the wars to come. So that's what I'm. that's why I'm thinking about that. Two bands. So Valonis... Let's see, Helium Prime. Is there anywhere we can move some robots to? Construction venture to Ban. So do we have any robots anywhere that we can move? He has a crawl. We have a robot driller working. And if they're working mining jobs, I just want to keep them there. A study has been completed. He's a crawl, and he says habitability on target planet is 80%. Yeah, but it's going to use influence to move those guys, and I don't want that to happen. So, Clearing blockers. Hey, look. Oh, building slots. Colony development speed. Let's get the that quickly. Habitat. Auto cannon. Construction adventure completed. Nice. Construction 79%. I mean 79. I don't know if it's a percent, but it's a number. Intel 79.52, current Intel. And we still don't really know much about their ships. I need to I need all the ship data before we can start to even think about making a move against those guys. How are we doing over here? We're doing okay. Oh geez, wow, that episode went long and it just like blew me away. Holy cow, ten minutes over. Sorry guys. Um, 
<laughs> There's so much going on. I feel like I'm finally getting into that snowball mode. So very cool. I'm th the thing I'm most thrilled about is knowing ha exactly how this works, especially with regards to the Ketlings. This is just incredible that it works that way and it provides these leaders and they have tomb world preference. That is just that is fantastic. And so here's the other thing. Let's see. So we have these guys. So here they are. We have six of them. I'm going to address this at the beginning of the next episode. We'll talk about it then. This is going to be real cool. Now that we've uplifted these guys and we have them, we can go in there and gene splice them and give them better leader stats. Uh, this, is, this is great. All right. See you all on the next episode. Thank you for watching so much. Uh, as always, questions, comments, drop them down below. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.